Hey there, so you were just at your eye doctor and they talked about a bunch of eye terms that you don't know what they mean, or your kid just came to you with their homework and they wanna ask you about the eye anatomy, or you're starting your first day working at the eye doctor's office and you wanna really impress them. Basically, you realize you weren't really paying attention in grade nine anatomy and you need to know what's going on. So today's your crash course on the eight most common parts of the eye to get you up to speed. I'm Dr. Michael Nelson and this is Good Optometry Morning. What we want to do is cover some of the basic features of the eyeball. Starting at the front of the eye, we have the cornea. The cornea is the clear tissue. It's a half a millimeter thick that is on the front part of the eye. Uh, the cornea is the part of the eye that is dealt with when you have refractive surgery. That's the area of the eye that's reshaped when you have that type of surgery. The next structure that we're going to deal with are the iris and the pupil. Now the iris is a structure that controls how much light enters in and out of the pupil. The pupil is simply a hole that will control more or less light in. When you need more light in, if you're at dark, then your pupils will dilate and the, the, the pupil will get much bigger or in brighter light conditions, then the pupil will get smaller and let less light in. Now located right behind the iris and the pupil is the lens. The lens is like the lens of a camera, the part of the eye that focuses the images and the light rays back so they are in focus in on the retina. The lens is your autofocus system of your eye, allows you to focus far away and up close. That's also the part of the eye that decreases its autofocus and that's why people need multifocals or bifocals because you no longer have any autofocus when you get older and that's why people will have an ad power in their prescription. On the back or the inside part of the eyeball, it's lined with neurons and it is called the retina. Some people may have heard of rods and cones in biology and the rods and cones are in specific neurons that are located in the retina and make up the retina. But if you want to think of the camera analogy, the retina is like the film of a camera. Now I will point out one specific part of the retina. There's one area of the retina called the macula. And the macula is of, of importance because it, a condition called macular degeneration, which is a premature aging of the retina, affects that. Basically what the macula is, it's the area of the retina that deals with just your central vision. That's when you're looking right at an object, that's where the image is focused. Now another important structure is the optic nerve. The optic nerve is a bundle of nerve fibers that carry the signal from the eyeball to the brain. Or a bundle of nerve fibers, about a million nerve fibers, that take the signals back to the brain. And the last structure that I'm going to talk about here is the vitreous. And the vitreous is the substance that fills up the internal portion of the eyeball. The vitreous is a clear jelly-like substance that is lightly kind of crazy glued onto the retina to hold it into place and it generally is clear, but sometimes you will have clumps of gelatin that are a little bit less transparent, and that's what some people will notice as floaters. All right, so if there's some terms that I didn't explain, make sure you leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Otherwise, there's a couple more interesting videos here, and if you like information like this about your eyes, your optometry, your vision, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more of these videos. And have a great optometry day.